while that all sounds so easy, but who is going to open that door to the future? With me in the studio now is someone who should know. Professor Jürgen Mlinek is the president of the Helmholtz Association, Germany's largest scientific organization. Thank you for joining Hello. us. Now, that report that we saw was very optimistic about the chances of CO2 replacing oil as a starting material in the chemicals industry. How realistic do you think that is? We see. I think we have to do something about the CO2. Uh, we have to separate it, we have to store it, and uh, the best possible way uh, of its use would be to make uh, other materials out of it. That's not so obvious, and even if you succeed in doing it, whether you can do it in a big style is an open question. So we do need more research. Well, speaking of research, what would you say the most important themes are right now in research? Definitely energy. We need uh, energy that is uh, sustainable, that uh, everybody can afford from the economic point of view, and that uh, is also environmental safe. Besides energy, I think it's health. People get older and older, especially in Germany. We are living in an aging society, so people want to get older and stay healthy at the same time. That's a challenge for the health system and also for health research. What would you say is it about Germany that makes this such an interesting place for researchers from all around the world? Germany has uh, very attractive working conditions for researchers. Um, we have done a lot for junior researchers over the last uh, 10 to 15 years. We have become more competitive. Think uh, about this excellence initiative that recently took place. We have a fantastic infrastructure in Germany uh, that also uh, concerns uh, research infrastructure. We have become more competitive concerning salaries. So. Uh, Everything is fine, and we have a clear priority for education and research in contrast to many other countries uh, in the world. Well, you have just recently come back from Japan. You've also spent a lot of time uh, in the United States. How would you characterize the partnership between Germany and the U.S. in terms of, of research? Are they partners or rivals? Both. Uh, as a scientist, you compete with scientists in your own country, but also, let's say, at the international level. Uh, at the same time, uh, in many projects, you need really international cooperations, especially for the big challenges. Coming back to energy research, nuclear fusion, which means getting this, the fire of the sun on Earth, is an international cooperation. You can't do it otherwise. And um, just briefly, what about countries like China and India? Will we see research coming from there eclipsing what Germany is doing in the future? Well, they really make a huge effort also concerning education and research. From my viewpoint, China clearly is the more dynamic country. Uh, they set clear priorities and have become competitive in a number of fields, also with respect to international standards like uh, we have in the U.S., in Japan or Germany. Mr. Mlinek, thank you so much for joining us here You're today. You're welcome.